Hi y'all, welcome back to my channel. I'm back with another video. Before I get started, I just want to say thank you so much to my new subscribers and to the old ones as well. I appreciate each and every one of you. So let's go ahead and jump into it. I wanted to share this paper pack that I found because of Jill Norwood and I will leave her link in the description box below. I was able to go to Joann's when they were having a free shipping and get this paper pad at a great price. So I will go ahead and show you. I will hold it up so you can see the name. It is called Humble Abode and hopefully you can see all the different patterns across here. I will show them all across the bottom. So there's all of them. I'll just go ahead and flip through so you can kind of get an idea. It's got cut apart. It's double sided. Makeup. I love the dogs. I love this beautiful paper. The typewriters. The gorgeous flowers. The cats. The trucks. And the trucks are glossy. It's like they've got glossy accents in part of it. The houses, this is one of my favorite pages. You can see there, there's another page of the dog. So I have used a couple of these things already on projects. And hopefully I'll be back to share what those are in a little bit. And you can tell I'm knocking things all over the place. But I am going to go ahead and show you some other products I used I used this product here. This is the Fun Size Heart Bow Dye by My Creative Time. I used this In Love Art Shop State Stitched Lace Tag Decor Dyes. And I used this for a project and made a shaker. And then when I saw Miss um, Tina here on YouTube, Tina Bean, I will go ahead and list her channel in the description box below. She made an incredible, fun shaker card with this. This is In Love Art Shop Creative Ferris Wheel Frame Dies. So now I will go ahead and show you what I made. We'll go ahead and start <coughs> with the shaker. This is what my shaker looked like. Up here I added a doily. Here is where I used the fun size stitched die. This all comes off. This is one of the tags from that set. And I just folded it over and added it on top. This is the big shaker that I made. So you can see it is a shaker. Sorry if that wasn't very good there. So I cut out two frames and put the smaller one on the inside to make the shaker. And I will show you one more time the frame dies. It comes with the scalloped and then a plain one. So you can see the scalloped and the plain. So it's perfect for making shakers. So we'll go ahead and put this back together. This beautiful blue paper that I used is from that paper pad, the Humble Abode. You can check that out on Joann's. Like I said, I was able to catch it when they were having free shipping. So it was a really good deal and it got here really quick. So that's what the completed shaker looks like and the back is just plain if you're in a swap you could add a little tag right here with your information and this is out of 110 pound cardstock so it is thick and sturdy so the other card that i made is using the ferris wheel die if you go over to um tina kappa's channel and like i said i'll leave that link in the description box below you can see her ferris wheel cards she did a much better job of putting hers together mine does turn but you can see that the whole stand goes all the way around with it so i don't think i put it together right but i did use papers from my stash it comes with the little cart which i added in turquoise and i added it on this fun yellow and white striped background I did use a little hello stamp and that came from a not too shabby stamp set. I'll leave the link to the not too shabby shop in the description box below. If you do order this die, you will need a brad for the center. Luckily I had that one and I have some more brads coming. 
And then I added some pink gemstones from the Gina Marie Design Shop, I believe it is. And I'll leave that link in the description box below. But once again, make sure you go on over and check out Tina's Tan tina's channel she has a link of where they put this together at the in love art shop and i'll try and put that below as well thank you so much for watching and i hope you have a great day bye